Mr. Vane, be reasonable. This whole matter is bound to blow up in your face. Oh, please, don't worry about me, Mr. Dunn. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Oh, we're not only thinking of you, Anna. This issue is a little bigger than that. Gentlemen, I'm sure Chief Devane understands that the police department will fall under heavy criticism if Felicia and Frisco's disappearance is not dealt with correctly. Yes, I understand that. But I'm not about to go off on some vigilante search for them. I absolutely agree with you, Anna. But it is obvious that Felicia and Frisco are in some sort of trouble, and I think we should find them as soon as possible to make sure they're not in any danger. Well, let me get on with my job, then. You can't play favorites, Miss Devane. I'm not. I'm conducting this case the way I would any other. Look, I'm sure Mr. Dunn understands that you want to see them apprehended as soon as possible. Right? Look, we're not even sure there's any real evidence against Felicia and Frisco. You see, Jake, this is exactly the sort of conclusion jumping that I have been trying to avoid. Well, I think uh, you'd be singing a different tune if the suspects weren't your personal friends. That is irrelevant. I'm a professional. Now, I have had to arrest my friends in the past, and I would do it again if needs be. Yes, but you do have a personal stake in this, Mr. Bain. So I don't think that we can leave that sort of decision to your good judgment. I don't think you have any choice in the matter, Mr. Dunn. I beg your pardon. If you have any complaints about my job performance, then I suggest you take it up with the mayor. Otherwise, I hope that you all respect the fact that I have work to do and I can't waste my time listening to you anymore. Anna. Anna, I'm sorry about this. My only purpose in being in this committee was to make sure that Felicia and Frisco are safe and protected. Have I ever given you any reason to think that I don't have their best interest at heart? Excuse me. Chief Devane, right. Chief Devane, can you please comment on the reports that one of your new officers has skipped town with his wife and no. thousands of dollars no. of embezzled funds? I, I have no comment at this time. Can you tell us what's being done to apprehend these criminals? Please. There is nobody linked with this crime at this moment. Um, Chief Devane, could your personal relationship with the accused have anything to do with your attitude? Ginny, my relationships have no bearing on any case I handle. Cut. Cut. And, uh, uh, Chief Devane, I'm sorry, sometimes reporters don't know any questions. I think you people should know that a coalition from the Lawyers Association has just met with Chief Devane. We discussed many of the same concerns that you're voicing here now. Hopefully we were able to convince Chief Devane of the necessity of... We're going to have to do something. They are railroading for Stone Felicia. Well, I'm going to stay here and see if I can tone down this witch hunt. All right, I'll see you later. I know you all know the expression. One bad apple doesn't spoil the whole bunch. Oh, I went to the other pier to see if I could find Tessie. Is there any luck? Oh, don't worry about it. I haven't had much luck looking at this either. You know, maybe this thing is just a big mistake. I mean, maybe the computer spit out the wrong letters and the wrong numbers to begin with, huh? No, Frisco, I really think that this is some kind of code. Well, I'm, a, I'm no expert on it. I mean, the last time I broke a code, I used a special ring from the cereal box. I'm glad you're taking this so lightly. Well, I just want to let you know that I'm not going to be any help with this code thing, okay? I mean, you haven't found anything? Zero? Nothing? Well, I found, figured out that there are three Roman numerals that are the same in column A, in the, both in the two different spots, here and here. Well, so what does that mean? I don't know. You know, Anna's WSB computer would crack that code in a second. A lot of good that's going to do is sitting here in a junkyard. Hmm. Well, we can't go back to Port Charles. Not yet. Frisco, you don't have to keep all this inside. I'm a big girl now. I can take it. And the longer we stay here, the worse it's going to be for us. I can't even keep count of how many regulations and rules I've already broken within the department. You shouldn't have run. Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Well, I know you're just trying to protect me. It's both of us, sweetheart. We're in this thing together, okay? It's just the same. I appreciate it. Well, I'd appreciate Tessie just walking right up to us right now. And staying away from poor Charles is... It's gonna be hard on us. Unless we get Tessie there with the information we need to clear this whole thing. I just wish we knew we could trust her. Well, it doesn't matter now. The whole point is, where is she? Damn it, where is she? 